have to make it like poof, in your face, right? Guys, we're going back into the Happy Holidays deck because why? It's the holidays, right? It, they're here. They're happening now. People are getting together. People are traveling. People are doing vacations. You're getting text messages from people you ain't talked to all year. Blah, 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 blah. People reaching out, sending photos. My thing is, if I haven't talked to your black mm, 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 all year, I don't. I don't expect a text. I don't expect nothing. You don't. You don't have to wave at me. You don't have to wave at me. And sometimes, guys, you get certain texts that you ain't seen or talked to all year. You know what I do? I swipe it and delete. I don't even open it. I'm not gonna acknowledge you. The hell? Don't y'all know me by now? I'm that girl. <laughs> I really am, guys. I'm an a-hole. When it comes to disrespect, I don't care who you are, family, friend, or foe, you cannot disrespect me when I don't get a flying F. Texting me once a year means nothing. Sending me a happy holidays means nothing. We haven't talked in 365 days. 364. Why are you going to... What? I don't want to see your text. I don't want to hear from you. I don't care. I don't. Have I cared all year? Like seriously. And, and I think a lot of people should get into that frame of mind. Sometimes I think people just be texting and emailing and all this stuff around the holidays because they either want to put something in your face or show you something or just talk dumb. And guess what? I don't want to see any of it. I don't want to see it. So if y'all are watching me and you probably are. Those text messages don't get read, <laughs> delete. They're not even acknowledged. And if you have an Apple phone, like you have an Apple phone, you're not getting a return receipt. It's not gonna show that it's been open. You're gonna be wondering where it, where it's at. It's gone. It's. I got a text today. I did this. Ooh. <laughs> You guys to be kidding me. A lot of y'all better start acting like that. Because some people get that phone. You ain't talk to this person. I'll give you like, oh, <laughs> so-and-so text me. <laughs> Why does that make you giggle? For what? Why are you happy? Why did it get you excited? For what? W Why? You think you special because they text you around the holidays? No. 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 Holy Spirit. Happy holidays, guys. What's going on? What's going on? Let's find out. Stalking energy is around you and your person. So somebody is stalking. They're stalking you. They're stalking the person that you're with. They're watching you. They're watching the person that you with, especially if you got your relationship all blasted, all online for the world to see. Yes, I know some people get paid for doing that, right? And then there's others who just has a normal life like us, where every now and then you may post your man, you may post your woman here and there, blah, blah, blah. Well, somebody is all up in your ish, trying to figure out what you're doing for the holiday. Are they together? Are they this? Are they that? Guys, be like me. Post randomly. I post randomly. I'm not going to wake up, get dressed for the holidays, and then post that. Absolutely not. If I do anything on, for the holidays, you're probably going to see it in March. <laughs> you'll probably see it in March. And it'll probably be in a group of pictures in a 60-second video. You better catch it, right? better catch it y'all need to take my class on social media how to not give a f right holy spirit yeah we can't be doing this next year but somebody's stalking you they are they're stalking you and they're stalking your person cell phones going off with text from the exes so it's somebody's ex so either you or your person is getting stalked by an ex around the holidays Yep, you or your person is getting stopped by one of your exes around the holidays. They're watching you, all the stuff, right? Holy Spirit, who are these stalkers? Why are they here? 
See, isn't that weird? Didn't I tell you? People do weird things around the holidays. People want to feel special around the holidays. Guys, don't give them that. Don't give them that. If y'all haven't talked all year, don't expect it. And if they do text you, don't open it. They haven't talked to you all year. They just haven't. They haven't talked to you all year. Holy Spirit. I have a sister. Let's just talk about it. I have a sister. She's my older sister, right? I'm the baby of eight. So, and she got like 10 years on me, right? And we're both Pisces. We don't talk all year round. But she'll text me on my birthday. Once a year. I told her to stop that ish. Don't text me. We haven't talked all year. But don't, don't text me. Don't text me. And I think the last time I told her that, she told two of my other sisters that she disowned me. Disowned me. Disowned me. We ain't talked. Does that bother me? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. But what I did do is I honored that disownment. So I disown you too. So now I got four, three sisters instead of four. <laughs> I don't care. Holy Spirit. Mm -mm. You gonna tell somebody you disown me and my sisters? You disown me? Alright guys. So somebody don't want to fight anymore with either you or your person. Maybe they feel like they chose wrong. Maybe you feel like you chose wrong. Yeah, they feel like they chose wrong. Or if this isn't you, then your person feels like they chose wrong probably for messing with that person, the ex or whatever. They're not going to argue and fight with this ex anymore. They say, you know what? It was something that I did that I shouldn't have done. Seven of Cups in reverse. I shouldn't have drank from that cup. But I'm happy now with me and my family. I'm happy at home loving me, right? Me and my family. And that's why this ex is stalking. Because they can see either you or your person is happy and that you moved on. Didn't I say it? That you moved on. So somebody's ex, either yours or theirs, is stalking. They're mad. They're angry. But you have moved on or your person has moved on. Feel free to flip these energies. You're not arguing with this person anymore because it's the devil. But however, this devil is attached to you. They're addicted to your energy. Look at that. They're trying to chain themselves to you. They're addicted to your energy or either to your person's energy. So they're going to be stalking around the holidays and texting. It didn't work. Whatever they had with this person or whatever you had with this person, it didn't work. So now they're going to stalk you. You moved on. You look happy. With that four of wands and that knight of cups, you happy. You're offering your love to someone else. You moved on. Somebody moved on and the ex is mad. They left that karmic wheel. They got off of it. This is They realized that was a karmic wheel. They realized they chose wrong. They realized, you know what, it was lust filled. It was lust, right? It was lust. It was addictions. It was all the wrong things. When the double cards show up in the upright, there's nothing good about it. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. They got new opportunities. You created new opportunities for yourself. You moved on. Either that or your person did. You got a queen of wands. You got somebody else, right? You healed from whoever or whatever this person was. Moved on. Got a new love. You happy. You happy. So the ex is stalking. And you're manifesting. As soon as you moved on, things started coming in for you. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit. Why are these exes stalking? You could be getting stalked. Your person could be getting stalked. Both of you, if you have exes, right? Everybody got an ex somewhere. Spirit, why are they stalking? It's an impotent reverse. Somebody who lost their crown. She lost her crown. It was infidelity. Not a pentacles in reverse. Person's unreliable, untrustworthy, undependable, all of those things. 
and they're not standing in their strength. That's why they're stalking. Because they can't get over you. Either that or they can't get over your person. Holy Spirit, if one was to answer that text from the ex, what would it say? What is this ex trying to say? The ex is not ready to leave this person alone. Page of Wands in reverse. They're not ready. And they don't want you to have this new beginning. That's why they're calling him. That's why they're texting. And they're like, no, baby, no, baby, no. And you like, yeah, baby, yeah, baby, yeah. They don't want you to move on or they don't want your person to move on. Mm -hmm. This ex is up in their head. They're still caught up there. They're still trying to heal. That's why they're calling and texting. They're still hopeful. They're hoping that they can get this person back or you back. Can't sleep at night. Mm. Maybe they feel betrayed. I don't know. Maybe they betrayed you or your person. Maybe that's why you left this person. Now they're all up in their head about what they did or didn't do. That's what they did. And you moved on. You got victory right here. You moving on. You're not in hangman about the choices that you made. And you accepting and or giving this new love offer to your new boo. To your new boo. And somebody's pissy. Somebody's ex can't seem to get over you or they can't seem to get over your person. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm loving these holiday readings. Sounds interesting, right? Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.